Is COVID-19 caused by the 5G network or the product of a secret Chinese bioweapons program? No, there is no evidence that either of these claims are true, but to some people that very lack of evidence is itself clear evidence of a cover-up. Welcome to the paranoid, topsy-turvy world of the conspiracy theory. Think of any major world event and there is almost certainly at least one conspiracy theory to explain it. The list is almost endless. The Apollo moon landings were faked, climate change is a hoax, the earth is flat, vaccines cause autism, Barack Obama was born in Kenya and is secretly a Muslim, or the world is ruled by lizards. While it might seem like these beliefs are rare or even pathological, Research has shown that they are surprisingly common. One study found that half of all Americans believe in at least one conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theories increase in prevalence in periods of widespread anxiety, uncertainty, or hardship, such as during wars and economic depressions, and in the aftermath of natural disasters like tsunamis, earthquakes, and pandemics. However, in contrast to past crises, recent conspiracy theories have been driven by the rapid change in how we communicate with each other. Of particular importance is the emergence of social media sites, which enable the rapid spread of information based on information produced by what appear to be reliable sources. So what explains this common and often deep-rooted belief that powerful, sinister, and secretive groups are conspiring to deceive others? particularly in a day and age where we have more access to information and facts that might debunk these ideas. Researchers suggest that there are a number of different reasons why people believe in conspiracy theories. Many of these explanations boil down to three key driving factors. A need for understanding and consistency, or epistemic reasons. A need for control, or existential reasons. A need to belong or feel special, social reasons. Let's start with epistemic reasons. Epistemic explanations refer to the desire to derive certainty and understanding. The world can often seem confusing, dangerous, and chaotic. At the same time, people want to understand what's happening and are driven to explain things that happen. Doing so helps them build up a consistent, stable, and clear understanding of how the world works. When people encounter disparate information, it is only natural to look for explanations that connect the dots. Conspiracy theories offer explanations that provide this connection. They also suggest that the underlying causes are hidden from public view. When confusing things happen, believers can then assume that it is because they are being intentionally deceived by outside forces. There is also a connection between conspiracy beliefs and educational levels. Lower educational status tends to be associated with higher levels of conspiracy belief. But educated people are also susceptible if a conspiracy theory fits with their pre-existing worldview. Having lower analytical abilities and less tolerance for uncertainty also play a role. As a result, people turn to conspiracy theories to provide explanations for events that seem confusing or frightening. The confirmation bias can also play a role in the development of conspiracy belief. People are naturally inclined to seek out information that confirms their existing beliefs. So when they run across a theory that supports something that they already think is true, they are more likely to believe the information is also true. Now on to existential reasons. There is also evidence that people turn to conspiracy theories as a way of feeling safer and more in control. When people feel threatened in some way, detecting sources of danger can be a way of coping with anxiety. And lastly, social reasons. People can also be motivated to believe in conspiracy due to social reasons. Some researchers have hypothesized that by believing in conspiracies that portray out groups as the opposition, people are able to feel better about themselves and their own social group. Those who believe in the conspiracy feel that they are the heroes of the story, while those who are conspiring against them are the enemy. Such findings suggest that conspiracy beliefs might arise as a sort of defense mechanism. When people feel disadvantaged, they are motivated to find ways to boost their own self-perceptions. Blaming others by linking them to malevolent plots provides a scapegoat on which to lay blame, thus improving how conspiracy believers view themselves. The belief in conspiracies is also rooted in what is referred to as collective narcissism. This is the belief belief that your own social group is better, yet less appreciated by other people. People who feel that they or their social group have been victimized are also less likely to believe in government institutions, and more likely to believe in conspiracies. The way in which people encounter and share these ideas should also be noted. It's easy to dismiss a story shared by a random source that you don't trust. But when multiple people in your social circle who you do know and trust all seem to believe the same story, it starts to seem less like a silly conspiracy and more like a trusted fact. 
Sharing these kinds of stories within our networks gives social credence to such conspiratorial thinking. While researchers have some good theories about why people believe in conspiracies, it is less clear what the ultimate effects of these beliefs are. Believing in conspiracies seems to reinforce feelings of confusion, isolation, disenfranchisement, and loneliness. It is a destructive cycle. Negative feelings contribute to the belief in conspiracies, yet the belief in conspiracies results in negative feelings. Believing in conspiracy theories erodes people's trust in their government, their leaders, and their institutions. It also diminishes trust in science and research itself. This distrust may discourage people from participating in their social worlds. It might also cause people to stop seeing themselves as valuable contributors to society. Believing in things that are not true poses a number of dangers, which can have real effects that impact individual behavior and ultimately have a ripple impact on society as a whole. For instance, a resurgence in measles outbreaks in the US has been largely attributed to a refusal by some individuals to vaccinate. A refusal that stems largely from the conspiratorial belief that vaccines cause autism and other health ailments. Failing to address dangerous misbeliefs presents a potential danger to public health and the political process itself. Faulty beliefs can lead people to not vaccinate, not vote, or even engage in dangerous or violent behavior. But experts say that educating people about the ways misinformation spreads can make a difference. A recent study looked at whether preemptively warning people about the techniques that are used to spread falsehoods can help them gain immunity against fake news. It found that once people were warned about common misinformation techniques, including appealing to people's emotions or expressing urgency in a message, participants were more likely to identify unreliable reliable information. Changing how often we are exposed to inaccuracies can also have an effect. Social media platforms, where misinformation can spread rapidly, are starting to experiment with removing unreliable posts. A 2019 study found that people trust mainstream news sources more than hyperpartisan or fake sites, which means social media platforms can help if they prioritize posts from credible sources, experts say. When talking to somebody who firmly believes in a conspiracy theory, you should be aware that any argument challenging the conspiracy theory may be taken proof that you are part of the conspiracy and reinforce the belief. They probably believe in more than one conspiracy theory. They will probably argue hard to defend their beliefs. So what can you do? Encourage open debate and questions. Ask detailed questions about their theory in order to trigger self-reflection. Enlist trusted former conspiracy theorists who once believed the same thing. Be cautious and use a variety of sources around the theme. Don't ridicule. Try to understand why they believe what they believe. Show empathy. Often the person may be truly fearful and distressed. Go step by step. Focus on simple facts and logic instead of covering every detail. Don't push. Too much pressure might backfire. Leave them time to process and try again. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss a single one of our videos. You can also give this video a like, share it with your friends, and if you have the means and want to support us, you can do it on Patreon at patreon.com slash notcomplicated.